Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome to the doggy boutique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. I, I pulled out the last of the costumes and we saw them all, I think, except these were at the bottom, y'all. This is not <laughs> this is Elvis. Look at this, it's got the oh, Elvis Oh man, wig. that wig. And he's holding like a microphone. <laughs> oh, look, here he is. <laughs> Poor dogs. We're gonna deal with us. <laughs> and we act, we think, oh, they love it. They don't. They don't love it. They, they hate it. That, I, I, so, some of them do like it. Probably not something like this. Right. Where you're putting a wig on their head and stuff. They like the attention. So some of them do like wearing clothes there. Okay. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. Um. Oh, we well, we finally did it. It finally happened. Yeah. No, it finally happened. Oh yeah, I did. It happened. So let me t let me tell y'all a quick story before we pull orders this morning. Um, as y'all know, we cross post and yeah, it's about that. And y'all could probably already tell where this is going. Yeah. Uh, I was happy to see yesterday on Poshmark, we sold a Jimmy Graham Jersey. He was a tight end. Um, I say was, he, he was a tight end for the saints for years. And then he bounced around from team to team. And then last year he didn't play anywhere. He was out of the league. And then yesterday, after what, how many months has he, maybe like three, four or five months, something like that? You're asking me something about football? No, no, The how long the jersey has been. Oh, missing. yeah. Probably, probably a couple of months. A couple of months. Yeah, probably since like May. And, yeah. yeah, and I knew it wasn't going to be a hot seller, uh, this Jimmy Graham jersey. So we sold it on Poshmark yesterday. And I was like, yes, that's awesome. Because, you know, that's been around a while. Thought that was going to be a hard sale. Feeling good about that, right? And I also was feeling good about a Poshmark sale. I like I like seeing other platforms sell for us. And then a few hours later, ding, cha-ching, oh, cha-ching. <laughs> yeah, it's not ding. <laughs> cha-ching, we sold it again on eBay. And no, we had not taken it down yet. Um, Monty comes in there and goes, did this guy die or something? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought because I've seen that happen before. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, like some random thing that's been listed forever will sell, and then you're like, oh. Something must have happened to The him. guy died or something. Or so, they made a new movie or something, yeah. So my first thought when it's when the jersey sold on eBay was I'm like, oh, no, don't tell me something happened to Jimmy Graham. I, like, I was sincerely, I, I didn't love that we sold it on two platforms, but my first concern was that Jimmy Graham was dead or something. I didn't know. Yeah. Something horrible happened to him, but no, what happened? The only thing that happened, he signed a one-year contract with the Saints yesterday, and then two people went and bought his jerseys from us because they're Saints jerseys. Not only that, it's a women's jersey, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, a women's size medium. What's wrong with that? Women, that, women like football. I understand that, but they're not. They don't sell as much as men's jerseys. No, they don't. They don't. It's so probably, what are the odds, you know? But and they, they that one like has pink on it or something. Does it? I think I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm just glad that the reason this happened was because um, something good happened to Jimmy Graham. He's back in the league and not something horrible. So looking forward to seeing Jimmy Graham this year. Now what what it does mean we sold on two platforms. We have to cancel one. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, we had to. We we actually canceled the one that sold. The one on Poshmark sold a little higher than the one on eBay. Yeah, we would have made more money on. That we would have made a couple more dollars, but um, we yeah, we cancel that one. We had to We had to cancel Poshmark. So which, canceled, and I did. I reached out to the customer and apologized um, for any inconvenience. You know, so yeah, definitely take that extra. I'm step. sure they're bombed. Yeah, I bet. There's probably not a lot of women's size medium Jimmy Graham jerseys out there. No, there's not. Yeah. There's not. It, so. it, it's like, it looks like they're a real jersey. It does. It's it's the real color. It's not pink or anything. It's a real, it's a real jersey. Uh, okay. But it's cut. Look how it's cut. Yeah, it's, it's cut for mm -hmm. a female. It is a Nike jersey, too. It's a nice one. Yeah. It's an on-field, so. Oh, well. Yeah. What you going to do? I mean... That's the that's the breaks whenever you're doing this cross posting thing. It's gonna happen, and as vigilant as we as we are, as we try to be, because Candace does take them down every single day. I do, and here's my thing. I I still I love this perfectly. I've learned how to use it, and I have no no beef with it. Just for what we use it for, um, I do wish they had an app. 
So that one, like if we're out and about mm. or whatever and something sells, I can just pop on the app. I'm not sure that they don't. Have you? I, I searched on the app store. Maybe it's under another name, but there's no list perfectly app when oh. I searched. Yeah. Yeah. That is bad because yeah, yeah, if it was on an app, it would be a lot, you'd be a lot more likely to just do it real quick. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, well, I just feel bad for the customer on Poshmark that we're I not know. shipping to because like that's the number one thing we do somebody gives us money we give them thing she gave us money we didn't give her a thing yeah well we give her money Hopefully back poshmark's quick about refunding money i have no <laughs> idea how their process is yeah so oh well oh well congrats to jimmy graham yeah <laughs> <laughs> go saints we're about to pull orders and then after that we're going to go ahead and tackle these get these over to storage because Candace is filling up these bins and we got to put them somewhere. Yeah, that so. bottom, the bottom bin is already full and this one will be full. It's almost full. Yep. So we need that space up we there. We need the space bad. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. That's probably going to be an hour or two of our time after we pull these orders right now. Yep. All right. First order is in the Joe drawer. It's one of the Monsters game replacement card, Herman. And I know... Oh, I was listening to our video yesterday. When I say monster high, I say monster. This really is. Now me. you're right. This, this is the is one really time. Monster. This is the one time where you're not wrong when yeah. you say it. <laughs> Monsters. So this is a Herman card. It well, might we, be the last one, huh? We haven't sold one of these. Look, this. Okay, here. That's the Herman card. And then this is the only one we have left. We must have Grandpa, started. Yeah. I think we started with like 20, 20 something of these cards. Yeah, they, they've done well. Again, I always, I'm a proponent of this. If you it, pick up a rare game, if you don't even know if it's complete, because if it's not complete, you can always part it out. Yeah. You know? And this so, might be helping somebody make theirs complete. Exactly. Which, in the grand scheme of things, uh, we're saving, saving historic artifacts here. Yeah. Six dollars and twenty nine cents for that card plus okay. shipping. All right, we did sell another dog costume. It's going to be down in here. Dog A five. This uh -oh. is the A bin. Dog A. Dog, dog A. a. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'll let I you have them in order too. One, two. There's five there it is. Right here. It's a small, so we're going to double check that. Yep, small. Sold that for ten dollars, and you know, I started thinking I, I priced those too low. I raised them up to fifteen. Oh really? Yeah. You, you had them at ten to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I think for that that was just too. You low. see something sell, and you're like, oh no. That, no, that... because I'm as I'm listing the other costumes and comparing that to that, you know. Well. Let's just price them up until they don't sell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good with 15. 15 is better if we can get that. Yeah. That one sold for 10 though, right? Right, that one did sell for 10. All right, we have um, Italiana. Oh, good. It's been a while. They're still, they're still trickling out of here. Yep. Still a couple a week, it seems. We're not, we're not in a hurry. Nope. At least I hope we're not. $29.59. Okay, nice. We have a Walmart pen, number 150. Okay, I went and pulled that off camera. Man, that's a little one. Let's see, that one just, it's just, that one just says Walmart on it. It's a five-year anniversary pen. Ah. See. Okay, yeah, I see a little five there okay. at the bottom. Yeah, that sold for $8.79. All right, for Echo, Claudia and Wolf, a Monster High. Monster. <laughs> Monster. All right. There's four echo right here. Every time we sell a monster high now, I'm just like, man, it's in, it, in a little while we're gonna be saying, man, remember back when we sold those? Yep. Eleven dollars for that one. You always get I always get a little sad when we have like a big a big lot of something and then we sell it, sell it, sell it, and then all of a sudden it's gone. I feel kind of empty inside because I get so used to pulling it. Yeah, I can't wait till I have that feeling about nutcrackers. Uh, it's gonna happen. It will happen. You watch. Okay. It always happens. Yeah. Unless it's just total garbage. I imagine so. Like when when you had all those uh, Hallmark figurines, you probably thought you would never sell them all. And look. Well, no, there's a lot of stuff that's like that. Yeah. Yep. All right, we have that jersey on four. It's four Echo, the Saints jersey. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Four Echo. It's going to be this little bucket right here. I actually put, listed some more stuff yesterday and put it in here. Yankees, Portland, Saints, Jimmy Graham right here. And we did, we sold it for 24 on Poshmark. We'll begin on eBay. $21.11. So it was on probably like a, I don't know, some, some sort of sale. In the chest drawer, we sold a... Oh, it's like a, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like a 12% off sale is what, it, what that 12. was. 12? I was wondering how you got to that yeah. number. In the uh, chest drawer, we sold a bull terrier spoon. Okay. Yeah. The, these are rare. <laughs> Do you still have, do you, did you ever list them all or you still have your little baggie somewhere? I do want, when I sell one, I relist it. Where, where are they? They're on the unlisted shelf. I oh. I guess, unless we took them to storage, but I don't think we So you're going to list another one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let me just find it real quick. I think this is like. It's like the third or fourth one. I think sold. it, I, I want to say it's like the fourth one we've sold. Yeah. We, and we had, man, we had a, uh, we had a little license plate topper. All kind of stuff. And all kind of, it's and like. Jewelry, yeah. I bought the, I bought this little box of this bull terrier stuff for like, I think it was like two dollars. Yeah. And Candace, when we got it, Candace like, what, what are you gonna do with this? What was this stuff? And then, I mean, we have made bank, like we've oh, made yeah. a, probably a couple hundred bucks out of that little box, and we still have oh, more left. Yeah. It's been so awesome. That one sold for thirty-five dollars and nineteen cents. Okay. We sold a pop on Nine Delta Skeletor A. Nine Delta. Nine Delta. That is Nine Delta. Mandy and Taskmaster. Oh, it's a. Uh... Gotcha. Okay. It's A? Yeah. Ornament A. Got it. Skeletor. Sorry, I, I didn't even get No, it's cool. Because yeah. from the, the little thumbnail, it looks like a regular size pop. You can't tell the size. That's all for $7. Alrighty. Five Bravo. Another Monster High Clio. Five Bravo? Yep. One left. Oh, yeah. There's one in that box. We can take that little... Whoops. Ah, come on, get out of there. I don't want to go. <laughs> if, you, if you've been dragging your feet on buying a Clio, you know, we got one left. <laughs> <laughs> Do you only have the that one that's left only listed? It. It's only on eBay? Yep. Okay. Yep, I took it down off Macari this morning. All right, on 8 Echo, we sold those magnetiles we just picked up this weekend. Okay. Yeah, this is a... I was pretty I'm excited about this like not just making the 30 bucks or whatever it sold for but um just to know that that's something to look for yeah but we didn't really know there turned out to be 48 of the the magnet magnet tiles um the other ones were another brand so 48 of those we paid two dollars for them and sold them for 30. yeah so. that's good and I mean there's a, there's a really good chance one of these days we're gonna go to a garage sale and they're gonna have like a 200 of them or something and that's yeah. gonna be worth over a hundred dollars you yeah. know so yeah. i'm excited just to have that new we, we we like we like selling toys and now we have a new toy to look for a new bolo. yeah yep. all right time to get this packed today i am going to pack the cookbook with y'all i'll show y'all how i pack cookbooks all right, let's pack a cookbook real quick. Um, don't always make them watertight. But Candace had these bags handy. So why not, right? Go ahead and we're gonna do a really good pack here. and then I like to put these in a little bit of bubble wrap mostly just because of the combs don't want those to crack and this is a Gemini comic mailer which you just do like this it's ready to roll I drop my thing on there 
I drop my thank you note. With these, I do a magnet and a sticker. Just fold this over. You can tape this. It's not really necessary though on these because once I fold this over, that keeps it down anyway. So I'm not gonna tape it. And then just two pieces of tape from here. One all the way down that seam. And then I'm gonna do one more in the other direction. And that's a wrap. All right, we are up here now. And uh, we got all those nutcrackers moved. You can see a lot of that shelf is clear too. There's a little dust up here. And uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go I don't even, I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure if, like if we can go too high and come in below this or not. I don't know. No, we can't. I'm looking at it. It's going to be too tall. Too tall for those crates? Yeah. Unless you go in between, huh? And you know, I put the lids on them, but why? Because they're in plastic bags, you know? Well, I, I was hoping we could stack them, but we're not going to be able to right. stack. Right, and that's just going to add weight for when we're taking them down. Oh my gosh, that's going to suck. Yeah. I wish we had smaller ones. I was hoping we could stack. Yeah. Now I really want to... We'll see what we do. I really would... If we can't stack them, I, like one of these other shells would be better because they're not as high. But then we got to put something here. Yeah. I know. I just don't know if... Like you know. these two shelves here. But you still can't stack them. You know? Some of that stuff is very stackable. Some is not. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do something like that though. All right, so we gotta we gotta figure this out. But yeah, that's all the nutcrackers we just got down that are going to storage. Yeah. We're just uh we just this is what we go through every now and then. We just gotta kind of figure it out. Yep. Rearrange and figure stuff out. All right, we are back. It wasn't too painful uh, for now. These are gonna be up here. And uh, as you can see, we have room for a couple more, and then we could even make space for more because none of this stuff is locked in here. Yeah. The shoes could probably go all the way over there if we wanted to, and then we'd have room. And that's just the way it's going to have to be for now. It works. I mean, we could use get smaller totes to go on top of those if we have to. We're hoping we don't have to stack. Yeah. But it is an option. Well, if we just get a couple, we could just put a couple up there. And if I'm gonna have to take one down, I could just move it over to an empty hole. Yeah, and take, just leave an empty hole. Right, leave one empty hole to where we can always just slide, yeah. slide it over and take one down. Yeah. yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. It's not too painful. I mean, we only pull orders for a few minutes in the morning. It's not a big deal. Right. Um, I did bring back, well, I got a few military items. I have a box of military items in the truck too. I pulled a few out to list. Uh, like I have this camelback, some kind of gloves of some sort. They look really fancy. That looks like fireproof or something. Or something. No, they're nylons, they're not. Or they're mittens too. So I'm not sure exactly. Like the There's tags in there. Yeah. Uh, then we have some Molly. I think it's called Molly. It's M-O-L-L-E, Molly two shoulder straps. It's for a frame pack. And then this is for a frame pack too, the kidney pad or waist belt or whatever. And then I, uh, this is just a boonie hat, boonie cap. Those are kind of cool. So I got that in addition to, cause I wanted to list some vinyl today. Cause it's been too long since I've done that and vinyl does well. And I didn't want to list all vinyl. So I just got, this is going to be the rest. This is probably going to be my next couple of days. I'll probably throw a few more military items in and I'll, uh, start figuring this vinyl out. Cause I'm not sure exactly what this stuff is worth there's probably some good stuff and uh some lot up stuff and i know there's some i think there was like some laser disc in here even what is this heart heart it's a big old double lp thing i thought there was some laser disc oh, look this is sealed I dan think. fogelberg dan fogelberg that one's sealed i think it looks like unless it. it slipped somewhere Okay, yeah, that, that one is sealed. I thought we had some movies in here. Is that Rush? It's sealed. No, it's not. It's open. 
that's good though when they have the shrink that is something i see people put in their uh titles that helps protect the uh, cardboard huh yeah they'll put it they'll put shrink even though it's not sealed uh you know what talk talk i think we might oh you know what I th did we have two oh no these are the movies here that's laser disc yeah okay okay we have we do have a few laser discs in here like some family movies howard the duck and then we have cheech and chong okay. that's not family so i'm gonna be working through this stuff uh over the next couple of days too uh, looking forward to that i got two more costumes list so we went in and picked up some regular dog clothing start getting into that some jackets well you only have two more what what do you what'd you say? You have two costumes? Yeah, Bumble, that's all you have left? Yeah, Bumblebee and Gorilla. Now they're different sizes. It's gonna be more than two listings. But that's the only Oh wait, and Dumbo's down here. That's the only dog costumes that are left? Yeah. Oh wow. Three okay. Types. Yeah. Man, you've been working hard on this. Yeah. They're pretty easy though, you know. The jackets are probably I'm guessing anyways, I think some of the jackets might be uh a little pricier, maybe. I'm not even sure. What is this? Like a windbreaker. Oh. Oh, like a tracksuit. Yeah. Yeah, windbreaker jacket. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's some cool stuff in there. So we're going to get back to it. I am selling a hat. I'm trying to sell a hat. And then Candace, check out what she's doing. Like, she's like, go look at our eBay store if y'all get a chance. I'm using doll stands. Some of her setups for these pictures are ingenious. So she's really doing well. Like, I had a really good idea. Like, the little suit here. I, I was able to get it around the head to where it was kind of sitting and all you saw was the top of the dome However, the front was so top heavy. It was pulling it forward. That's so Candace. That's so much better Those are just doll stands, right? Yeah, that's so much better than just having like a plop in them on the You yeah. know plopping them down. They just sitting there in a pile, you know So this is a trick like you'll see um in fashion photography if the clothing's too big for the models or how it always seems to fit them perfect in the back, they, they, have, it. they have it clenched up. Yeah, so I just did that with a... So they just can't turn around. <laughs> and then I'll do a flat lay, you know. Look, the cats, we were talking about this earlier. They always look so mad. The cats, the dogs are always like, oh, this is fun. And the cats are always pissed off looking. Look at that cat. <laughs> that about sums it up. And we, we're cat people. We like cats. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. All right, well, that's kind of bummed out. Like, we, we were just wrapping up our day, and I'll glance at my phone real quick. Saw Sinead O'Connor died. Damn. We were just talking about her last week, that whole controversy she went through and like kind of lost popularity. Like she tore up a picture of the Pope and I think she burned a American flag. She just, you know, and nowadays... That kind of stuff is like, not, not that it's... It's not as frowned upon as it was back then. Like it probably wouldn't ruin her career today. Oh, no. Yeah. No, not at it all. It might even boost it. Yeah, especially with what the church has gone through. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, man, it just sucked. Man, she was so good. She, her her she music was, was really good. Really yeah. good. Yep. I liked. Uh, I like my favorite song by her was Emperor's New Clothes. Yeah, that's the best song. That that song, man, that's good. Yep. She's got a bunch of good ones though. Um. So rip to her. That sucks, man. She wasn't that much older than us either. No. Fifty six years old. Yep. So uh, I I just did the military stuff. It's fun. And look, we had some cool stuff. I couldn't believe the condition of some of this stuff. Let me see. Check this out. This hat is from like, this hat is older than, I think this is pre-1970, I believe. It's got second lieutenant insignia on it. And look at the inside of this hat. Like it's, it looks like it has no wear. Looks like it was maybe worn once huh? or something. No. Look. Got a little bit of wear, but I mean, uh, it's clean. I don't know if it has wear. I don't see the wear. I saw a little bit on the bill. Uh, maybe. That that might just be scuffs from storage or something. It could be, yeah. But yeah, check that out. Yeah. So I'm trying to get 40 for that. I listed a couple of other... I like the I like the old army surplus type stuff. Listed a... Oh, that's another, that's another hat from 1970 that was in equal condition. I listed a helmet from for a hundred bucks and then Candace is just going nuts listing all of her dog stuff. I got all my back to school clothing listed. Yeah, oh, I listed a camelback for 60. 
Your back to school clothing. Yep. So <laughs> all, the, all the costumes are done. I finished the back to school clothing. Tomorrow I'm going to start on jackets and coats. Yeah. And I think that might be where the best money is. Yeah. Because that's actually functional. I mean, it's still dog clothing. We're not oh, I know. Clothing, but yeah. No, I, I mean. It's going to be the best money. No, at the price we paid for the stuff. Like, these are windbreakers, and mm -hmm. should be, I'll get $20 easy for them. I mean, the price we paid, Candace, that's huge. Oh, yeah. Because a dollar in. Yep. Anything, anything 15 and up is a home run, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. on, on all that. Now, we, we will run into um, the collars. Like, we have 20, you know, 15, 20, 25X stuff, like, here. But we will, will run into collars where maybe... Some of the collars we were pro we might lose a little on, or maybe break even, or not, right? Or make more like two X or something like that. Maybe so. I'll do collar bundles. Maybe some people like to change up their dog's collar. Yeah, no, no I think that's a good idea. Their outfit. I don't know. I'll see what I have. Uh, I think collar bundles is I perfect. I was thinking, especially like holidays, like because I know I have Fourth of July, Christmas. Yeah. Like if I could do like a holiday bundle mm -hmm. the same size. So we'll see what I have. I think that would be smart. Mm -hmm. That would be smart. Because we don't, like, we must have hundreds. I, in, in looking back, I should, like, looking back, what I should have done. Two for a dollar on those. I should have, like, negotiated just clothing and then come back and just made, like, a deal for the, the collars. Yeah. But but we also got the harnesses, and those are a little better yeah. than the collars. Not as many harnesses as collars. We have a ton of collars. The, the way I looked at it, though, was, like, we got this for a dollar because we paid a dollar for the other stuff yeah. you know what i mean that's yeah. I, that's just the way i think of things yeah but oh let me look at your totals i'm not check well i guess i i guess we are checking up on you yeah look nice and steady 1221 in listings so far yep and um yeah i mean we have we have these two totes up here now we have one more that one needs to go up here yep. and yeah things are we're, we're, we're doing well. We're doing good. I've also, I've started like some little totes, like for the, the smaller stuff. Okay. I'm put placing around to, you know, just, just grab it. It's got one in there. Like, so. Very smooth. I was just telling Candace, like, it was a very smooth day today. It seemed like it was easy. Of course, we didn't have a ton of orders to pack. Um, we got a lot of good listing done. We, we, we tackled that little project up there and we made really good sales have been great today so far so um yep. and the feedback on the packing video that i did last time that's been pretty good so all in all pretty pretty good day mm -hmm. so we're going to end it here and we will see y'all again in the morning bye y'all for now bye. Well, good morning everyone it is next day it is uh thursday morning thursday morning yep you know, the weeks fly by yeah. garage sales tomorrow hopefully yeah that's what we're hoping anyway i think there's going to be the weather out the weather forecast looks clear so we'll see did you see my spark plug saga yesterday yes i did what do you, you think i'm you think i'm dumb <laughs> no, what, no were you mad no not at all okay no. so, so let me tell y'all what happened we got a um i looked at our feedback yesterday and we had a neutral and this guy said these these spark plugs didn't fit my model my Ford Model T, and I met I I put in a center feedback revision request and I said, look, I understand they didn't fit your model your your Model T, uh, but I did send the spark plugs you ordered, and um, I would appreciate it if you would consider revising the feedback to a positive and they did almost immediately they did within a couple of minutes yeah and i and it re really like like they didn't they didn't message us or nothing they just revised it and then he explained what happened and then he and then in the feed and then he said it was his fault he should have ordered a different style yeah. i just thought that was i, I it, it kind of stuck with me how cool it was that he like no questions asked no yeah no questions asked i think it's all to me it felt like 
he realized, oh, there's a human being behind that. Right. It's not just a name on a screen well, or a... I, I think sometimes it seems like people think when they're leaving a review, it's, it's on the, the product yeah. and not the seller. And that may have been what happened there. Yep. So last night I was thinking about it. I was like, man, that, that was really cool for that guy to do that. Uh, so I, I sent the money back. Yeah, you refunded everything. Yeah, I, I just everything. refunded everything. And I said, hey, uh, that was really cool for you to t change the feedback. I want you to keep the... the uh, I refunded you. Keep the spark plugs with my compliments or whatever. Yeah. So Be careful. Don't do that before because... No. <laughs> it could be bribing for feedback. Yeah, I never said anything. I never said I was going to do that. never said a refund before. And I normally wouldn't and I didn't have to, yeah. but I just felt like doing it. Yeah. So I did it. You did it. Yes. So someone reached out to us yesterday. We have five of these left and they wanted to buy the rest of them and asked if we could give them a deal. Yeah, they they initially asked for a hundred and a hundred was okay. Um, we have 10 at each one of these. Um, yeah, our profit margin is not huge on those. No, I mean at, at a hundred, we probably would have made what, $35 or so yeah. profit. Um, so I I just asked to, if they could pay a hundred and ten for the five boxes and they did, mm -hmm. plus the shipping. Yeah. So um, yeah, those are done. That's the end of That's them. That's the last ones. That's it. And I'm happy because those those are the ones I was like, yeah, I don't know. Are these gonna sell? <laughs> and they sold. Should we buy them? Yeah, and they were the first things to sell out. Yeah. So. Of course, we sold them very competitively too. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so including that, uh, well, we have 21 other items going out. Gee, not whiz. not including that, 21 other items. Not not orders, items, right? Items, yeah. yes. Which is fantastic for a Wednesday because Wednesdays have lately been really slow for us. So. This, week, mon this week, Monday and Tuesday were really slow, and Wednesday was awesome. Yeah. And hopefully today is awesome. Yes. We don't know yet. All right, so the first order has three dog clothing items on it. The first two are on Five Echo, um, D5 and D7. It's a little bucket if you want to bring it over. Five Echo? Yeah. Hmm. It's where Tora Lee was, so. I didn't need her bucket anymore. You don't need her bucket anymore? That's a weird thing to say. Oh, this. And we're going to have dog stuff all over the place, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we only have two Toralees left, so she got promoted to sitting on a shelf. Okay. okay oh, she got promoted? <laughs> That's a where you don't have a little bucket you sit in. You get, like, your own spot. Your own space on the shelf. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> D5 is the first one. Okay. Let's That's see. a Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. Okay, got it. And D7 is the other one. It's a Willy Wonka costume. <laughs> This is weird how these are like filed. Yeah, they're, they're little <laughs> tiny pieces of clothing. So. Yeah. And then the other one's going to be up in a bucket. So up in a bucket. Uh. In a bin, yeah. Okay. Not a bucket, a bin. Torally got promoted, huh? <laughs> All right. And I guess go ahead and get the bin down because we have two things we need to get it out. What, the bin A? Bin A. Dog A? Yeah, there's three things actually. Yeah, I gotta get this thing down. I'll be back in a second. All right, Candace went ahead and pulled this for me. A little Ewok costume or whatever. It's a teddy bear. <laughs> Some of the viewers are saying it might be something else, some creature from uh, Star Wars or something. Well, the company calls it a bear. So okay. Um, those three items together were thirty-eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other two things coming out of this bin so we can get it put back up there. Okay. All right, we got those those three costumes down yep got this uh dragon costume it's an extra large dragon 20 plus ship on that and then this big this huge shark co this is another big one huh yeah that's like a that's an extra large shark for 20 dollars yeah ship. all right we saw a santa dog costume on cc6 for okay. ten dollars <laughs> All right, let's see. What size is it? It's a small. Yep. Got it. All right, six Bravo. We sold a Commodore 64, uh, like software, cartridge, everything in the box. Yeah, this was cool. It's a CPM thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, this thing is awesome. We picked this up for a dollar. 
at a garage sale. That was um, in a box of stuff, wasn't it? Or not? Am I thinking of the wrong sale? Well, they had a bunch of book. Uh, they had a couple of pieces of. I bought this and something else out of the box. Yeah, it was like books and software and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a uh, some TI ninety nine four A. I think. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that was a Books. box you bought for five dollars. Mm -mm. no? okay. Nope, I paid a dollar for this. Okay. Uh, Sold it for eighty eight dollars and seventy nine cents. Yeah, this thing is so cool. This cartridge, you plug this cartridge in, and then your Commodore sixty four uses a Zilog Z eighty processor instead of its own processor. It's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. Well. Okay, we sold some spark plugs on CC11. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I don't know. You're mean. No, you, I love you, that that you know that. And I you're looking that. at me like a no because I. You're looking at me like I'm a big nerd or something. No. Well, you like, are, but I like, oh, I God. like that you know that little tidbit that most of well, the I, population does not know. Well, I re well, I researched it, and another fun fact about that little cartridge is they never intended it to be a product what happened was the marketing materials for commodore 64 said that you're going to be able to run cpm on the commodore 64 because cpm was an operating system that like back in the 70s a lot of businesses used and so commodore build the commodore 64 is being able to run it and when it when the Commodore 64 came out, it could not run it. And then they ditched, like by the time it actually released the Commodore 64, the industry had pretty much gone away from CPM at that point by, by the early 80s. So Commodore ditched it, but then they got sued. Class action lawsuit. Because it said, yeah. And so they, this was their fix, was to release this product. And now the Commodore 64 can run CPM. But they never meant to sell any, and they didn't. They didn't sell any, and no, no software was ever written for that. So, big sham. What am I looking for? Uh, 940, lot of two spark plugs there, 940, and a brown packaging. I've probably never told a story that would was less interesting to fewer people. <laughs> All right, 940s? Yeah. Okay, got them. $8 for those. All right. Story time might have been a swing in the mess today i'm not even 100 percent. that story is 100 percent true while we're over here cc8's getting quite a lot of uh, the, the cubes are getting a lot of action we have two costumes on cc8 we're pulling cubes are getting action all right what are we looking for a lobster and a bumblebee that looks like a bumblebee yep and this looks like a lobster yep. are they on the same order yes because it looks like the same size Yes, they left a note that it's going for their guinea pigs. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yes, they're, they're small pet. They're not dogs. See, there's like a guinea pig. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, those are cool. Yep. We have, we have a turtle one, and I thought it would be funny to put the turtle on a rabbit like the tortoise and the hare. Oh, yeah. All in one, you know. And they sold for 20 together, so 10 each. Um, we sold a doll on 8 Charlie. I don't know how to say this name. It's Alice in Wonderland doll. Let me doll. try it. You can't say it. it. It's a it's a Greek doll maker. Vintage. Kexia. Kexia. Uh, I don't know if the, if the Greeks speak with that. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure they don't. <laughs> okay, I, okay. Yeah, forget it. All right. Eight Charlie. Yeah. Eight Charlie. Oh, look. That's very creepy the way she's sitting here. I've been waiting. So she kind of reminded me of Madame Alexander doll, but not quite. And there's no markings on her. So I, I, I joined this doll identification and I think you can sell in their group. And I posted her and one person said that looks like this Greek doll maker. Who wow. I, who's not. It's like a vintage doll maker. I don't even think they make dolls anymore. So they weren't sure, but they said it looks like one of their pieces, and I Googled it with her image, and sure enough, hmm. yeah. So I sold her for 18. She was in that bag of dolls I got for $5 at an estate sale a few weeks ago. So, all right, we sold a Nutcracker on 12 Charlie L. It's a chimney sweep. Oh, we sold the chimney sweep? Yeah. I thought we sold the, uh, 
Okay, so we must have sold more than one nutcracker then. Maybe so. Okay. This guy right here, huh? Yeah. We just moved him in the last video to get the rocking horse Santa guy. Yeah. Or no, the rocking ho rockin', uh, horse soldier. You touched that chimney sweep. I know. $35 for I, that. Every time I touch a chimney sweep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pocket 63. It's a little gold charm uh, fire, fireman's hat. Uh, pocket 63. So this looks like it. Yeah, this is it right here. $22 for that. It's for uh, the Fireman's Fund Insurance Organization. Okay. Yeah. So they must have like donated and they get Maybe this so, yeah. little trinket. Um, we have a card. My finger just made it. Okay. A card on Fort Bravo. It's B17. Okay, I went ahead and pulled this. This is a Sweet Swatch Jersey Ted Ginn Jr. Yes, four dollars okay. and thirty nine cents for that. All right, he's a good. He was a good. I don't think he's. I don't think he's in the league anymore. He was good though. We saw an LSU two thousand five championship hat. So oh, okay. Let's just try it. Here it is. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking hat. Yeah. Oh, it's new with tags too, huh? Yep, we sell that for thirteen dollars and nineteen cents. All right, ten alpha. We should have kept these. What? A lot of six rich dad books. Want me to cancel them? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 10 alpha? Yep. Uh-oh. I must have went. Okay, they must. All right, we got to get the ladder out and look for them, huh? Yep, get the ladder. I think they're behind there. I think they might. Well, let's see. They might be behind these. Oh, I think they're at the. I think they're right there. All right, I gotta get. You put them down there because you thought they wouldn't sell, huh? Well, no, I just didn't. I just didn't have room. <laughs> All right, let me excavate these books. Okay, we pulled them down. It's a whole. It's a lot of seven rich dad books. Different. Six. Is it six? Yes. Oh, okay. Six. Sorry. Um, a couple of weeks ago we bought a bin full of westerns terry c johnston some other guy named john stone i think and then some other series and then these were in the bottom of the bin i didn't even know they were there and then i looked them up i was like oh these sell pretty good in lots six uh 25 for the six of those yeah and we only paid ten dollars for the bin so we're already ahead on the bin oh yeah all right, we have another costume on CC4. It's an extra small dragon. CC4? Yeah. I'm going to have to be very careful with all these, the sizings. I'm going to be double checking with Candace a bunch. Yeah. Oh, look. Little guy. Little dragon. It's a little fellow. <laughs> <laughs> look. Look at, this, look at the size difference. <laughs> that would be so cool to have like a big old Great Dane and then a little big right. chihuahua each wearing the same costume. Sell that one for 15. Okay, I thought we were out of these things. Apparently not safety glasses on four Charlie. This must be the last pair, CR. huh? CR. CR? Well, I hope it's CR because I think we have one pair. Yeah, we do. This is the last pair. We must have sold 10 pairs of these, Candace. I think I have more than that. Really? Yeah. A dozen maybe, huh? Yep. Uh, $8.09 for those. Nice. Speaking of last thing, on five Bravo, mm -hmm. Cleo. Cleo did not last done. one. Wow. Isn't that kind of sad as we close the chapter on each one of these characters? Yeah. Is that our third character yep. to sell out? Three down, three to go. Wow. It is kind of sad. You feel like you get to know them after you pull them 55 times <laughs> or whatever, however many it was. $12.59. Okay. All right. Go make someone happy there, girl. Another hat and hat box B. The little pill uh, cap you listed yesterday. Is yeah. The officer's cap. That one right there? No, it's not the officer's one. Okay. No. Uh, $30 for that. Yeah, look at that. Awesome condition. Can you all believe that's from 1970? Pretty sweet. I thought that was cool. And the last thing, a Razor R47. Where am I going to have room to work? I oh, know. 
We should have taken a break. Yeah, eh, that's all right. Or what? 47. Okay, good. At first, I thought you said 37. I was like, there's not one in there. Man, look. You have like nine razors left in there. $22 right. for that. All righty. Okay, that's uh, that's everything that's sold in about the past 24 hours. And we're probably going to, if we have any orders tonight when we plan in garage sales, we'll go ahead and get those pulled. And that'll probably go on this video too. Maybe I won't wear my pajamas so I can talk to y'all. That's up to you. If you want to get, <laughs> if you want to get comfortable, you can. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go pack this stuff. Okay, if y'all remember last week, um, we had a situation where we listed, we put up at auction a military surplus backpack an Alice pack and I noticed it was getting no views at all and we you know we finally figured out that they're waiting to like I guess vet the listing or something to make sure it was okay and again I listed military items yesterday now this hat this is another hat that's similar to that one that we that we have going out today it has views it's got 10 views since yesterday uh, but I looked at the category this hat is in and I did a sell similar off of somebody else and it's in men's accessories hats So it's not in the military only category Now you can see these are other listings and these are dog costumes So they may or may not get a lot of views this time of year, but they still have some action at least right and then we get down to zero views and It's a military helmet listed in a military category so that's definitely on hold, like getting some kind of review before they let people see it. Uh, and then dog costumes, and y'all can see these all have, for the most part, this doesn't have any views, but mostly they have views, right? And then I have a rucksack, rucksack shoulder straps, zero views, another military category item. And then a kidney belt, zero views. So those are on some kind of review process, right? Here's another hat. This is a boonie hat and zero views. Let me see what category that's in. I bet it's a military category. It is. Current military, blah, blah, blah. So there's definitely a waiting time, at least for us. Maybe we're on some kind of bad boy list with eBay. I don't know. All right, packages are all away. It was nice to have a really good sales day. We had uh, two, two slower days for sure and then a really big day. Don't know how today's going to shape up yet. Um, I'm about to work on, start working on this vinyl. There's also some cool stuff in here uh, besides the vinyl. There's some, um, Candace actually looked this up a few minutes ago. And this is a pretty good laser disc. She was telling me it looks like it's probably worth about 50 bucks. It's Masters of the Universe. I never even heard of this movie with Dolph Lundgren in it. Yeah, and I, we I didn't either. And then we have, I don't, I haven't, I have no idea what this vinyl is worth. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting it to be awesome. I'm going to have to come up with some, have to come up with some uh, minimum that I'm willing to list for. And then the ones that aren't worth listing on eBay, I'll probably just lot up and sell on Facebook Marketplace, right? Just make a local. Yeah. You know, make them buy the whole thing if they want to. You know, give them, give a good deal, of course. Like you gotta call that record guy, see if he's buying right now. Yeah. So, uh, we had a uh, we had an interesting post. Human League yeah. crash. That one's cool. It's a double. Well, it's a gatefold or whatever you call it. We had a we had an interesting uh, post in the reseller water cooler Facebook group. Link down below. Um, I don't like saying the names and stuff. It is a private group. Uh, anybody can join. It's free. That, like I said, link down below. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, read it, Candace, because okay. we we run into this kind of thing all the time, and I've actually been part of it. We, yeah, we do try to avoid this kind of thing. Yeah. When you drive over an hour early in the morning to be the first one in line on the first day of an estate sale, and they have literally sold all the good stuff already. Yep. So she saw pictures of the, we do that. We go on the estatesales.net website. Mm -hmm. That's where our local estate sales post them. And they put pictures of their stuff. Oh, that looks neat. I'm going to get there early. I'm going to get that. I'm going to be the first one in line so I can get this stuff. Yep. Walk in there. It's already sold. 
that man that is infuriating it is it's totally infuriating yeah and uh, we see when we go to estate sales it, like I notice I see the same faces and I know for a fact that some not all the companies some of the companies have special relationships with certain people they do they have their jewelry people they call yeah they have their antique firm or their glass people yes yep. so they they have certain people they call and say hey I have some stuff you know a lot of times they do that like really early before they even stage just to save right. themselves the trouble of having the price the stuff sometimes they do it after they've staged and taken pictures which happened in this case um we actually we there's a um we've had an estate sale company that does pre-sales online anybody's open to you just have to message them hey i want this item now it's sight unseen so you may not be able to see the condition issues it may have if you're buying this through that website um she also has done a few pre-sales however that particular estate sale company as far as i know don't they mark stuff sold as it sells um usually they do and a lot some companies do and some don't so here's my thing first of all we never go on the first day for this re for this and other reasons um one thing the prices are usually ebay are higher prices so for us to pick up things to resell it's just it's not worth it you know it's still it's infuriating isn't it oh yeah it is yeah i, I mean and I, i've been on the other side of that too uh this was a couple of years this is before candace was working out here so this is over two years ago i think or no i'm probably about three years ago okay and I, I was actually Guy, as a friend of friend of Guy, my uh, my source Guy. Friend of his was having a family estate sale, and I and a few other people, and they took the photos and everything. And they, I think they had the ad already at our or had already posted it without the address yet, right? Like you've seen them do that plenty. Yeah, times, that right? address will be the night before or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did, and then they invited. The lady invited, um, I don't know, I think there's about maybe five people there, and I was the first one there. And I got the run of the place. And I mean, I bought some like high end vintage Barbie stuff in the boxes. Yeah. In the boxes. We're yeah. talking like one of those Barbies sold for over $400. Actually, a couple of them. It's like Superstar Barbie or something and Superstar Ken and... I know. I, I, man, it was so cool. And I wasn't working here. I just know how much fun I would have had listing all that stuff. Oh, you would have loved. <laughs> yeah. and, and like, there, there was a bunch of other stuff like boxed um, Garfield phone, brand new in box. Uh, just like, just all this great stuff, right? I spent a, around a grand there and other people bought a bunch of stuff too basically all the people that were invited for a pre-sale we I, the place out. i'm not saying we cleaned them out <laughs> but we took the cream of the crop right off the top of it and i mean it, it wasn't my sale to run I, it definitely was not my fault or anything i was just invited to go if to ask i was just asked if i wanted to go buy some stuff and i yeah, was like i mean if you didn't do it somebody else would you well know? I, don't, I don't even need that as a just i like it basically if somebody buy, offers to let me buy stuff at a good price that i can resell uh and everything's above board as far as like being legal and stuff and i don't have a problem with the stuff that i'm you know as far as reselling it uh there's nothing like there's no there's I, no reason for you not to do it no i didn't do anything wrong no. but however I talked to guy a couple days later and he said they didn't change the photos they didn't mention that this stuff had sold and there were uh quite a few people that were very mad mm -hmm. that were at that sale that, that showed up to that sale like the yeah. poster did in that group there and i i felt i felt bad for them not because i did anything to them but i felt bad for them it's, but we've talked about this it's like um it's deceiving you know yeah. it's like a false advertisement you know you're advertising you have these things for sale when you really don't yep and, I, and in this particular case they didn't intend for this to happen i because they, they were, were not a, they were a family they were not a company they right they didn't they weren't used to the protocol or what they should do they didn't think through it yeah and um yeah 
So there were some uh, there were some upset people. There might even be some people watching this now that remember this and, yeah. and tried to go buy some stuff. Uh, he also, so that's where the, I don't know if y'all remember back then. That's where he also ended up going back and buying a ton of Beanie Babies. I bought a whole room full of Beanie a Babies at the full, end, literally. And and part of that was yeah, we made good money on the Beanie Babies too because I, I would box them up and sell them in like lots of fifty or a hundred at a time. I didn't try. I'm not trying to sell individual Beanie Babies, at least not very often. And um, part of me going back and doing that. Was guy told me say man i got this whole room full of beanie babies left over here Are you interested and i'm like ah, ah not really but i felt a little bit like guilty yeah. <laughs> so i went on the last day and bought out all the beanie babies in that room mm -hmm. and then in it, it worked out yeah and then trying to do them a solid but then we ended up making way more money on that than i thought we would because yeah. I had over a thousand Beanie Babies. But yeah, that sucks, man. So yeah, we, we only go to estate sales on the last day when it's 50% off, generally. With no expectations. Very mm -hmm. rarely do we make a, a, a exception to that rule. And whenever I'm planning our route, yes, I do glance through their pictures. But I, I have no hope that stuff that I'm interested in is yep. going to still be there. I've done that before. I've gotten my hopes up. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. But we, we are not ones to get there an hour early and nope. stand in line. We don't. In fact, we usually try to roll up about 10 or 15 minutes after it starts so we can find parking for the people that ran in and bought their item and then left. <laughs> so, yeah, that, I mean, that's us. We just, we don't get our hopes well, up. You know? you, you, well, one thing about estate sales, too, you know, getting there first thing in the morning. And I think it is good. Like, if you're a hustler and you want like you see the really the gems there and you can get there first like i know there's no doubt in my mind there are deals to be had in that fashion so we just don't choose to do it one thing for me i despise like what is like candace what is one of my least favorite things in the world to do stand in line i hate it <laughs> like i absolutely abhor standing in line man what this was about not even a year ago we went to an estate sale and we were there pretty much we were there pretty much before it opened but there were already like 10 people in line or something and they said because the house was small which it was not but because of the the crowd they anticipated they were only letting a few people in at a time and we had to sit there and wait and wait and wait and then the person watching the door was not doing her job when somebody would come out she'd be gabbing and not letting another person in it was just it was infuriating i'm thinking i, I can't stand it i know we i'm like we could be at another sale shopping right now instead of just standing here in line you know yeah. yep so. estate sales man I, man I estate sales i used to hate them because like i didn't understand like it is estate sales like i I, do, I I used to look at estate sales as just like fancy garage sales that's what they are but that's not how they're run yeah like an estate sale you like i finally figured out that i have to go in and be like extremely like there's like a lot of these estate sale people that run the estate sales we we know quite a few of them that are like really awesome like yeah. very friendly mm -hmm. and we've done a lot of business with them and like we have some great relationships there but we also have some that are not so great yeah and uh yeah i, I finally figured out that estate sales I, I treat estate sales just like seinfeld treat suit nazi yeah when he's trying to get his suit i have to respect their thing you yeah know? You, whatever it is like yeah. Yeah, however uh, they run things, that's that's, that's how we're gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, it's like I, I'm gonna get in line, follow instructions, be very like not see, it, which is hard for me because a lot of times in like when we're in buying situations, I'm real bold, outgoing, and um, not pushy, but I don't know. I probably don't come across real well sometimes. Firm. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just aggressive, yeah. aggressive, yeah. and the estate sale companies don't appreciate aggressive no they, they they like to be in charge it's their thing and i i, and I understand that they have to be absolutely yeah. because yeah. there are a lot of people like me that are in there you know like hey we take this we take this we do this we do that and they're like oh my god just buy it or don't buy it please right. you know i get that but uh yeah it took me a while to figure out how to conduct myself yeah. myself at estate sales yeah 
Candace agrees with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I planned on working on vinyl all day, but this vinyl, I did list a few, um, I listed this vinyl, and then I listed a few, we did have some higher value um, laser discs. Howard the Duck was pretty good, I listed that for 30. And like I said, this Masters of the Universe, I listed that for 50, and I listed another one. I went through this vinyl, and all, all most of this vinyl that I could tell was either was either so low value that I didn't want to list them individually, or if I did find one I wanted to list, then I would pull the vinyl out, and it would either it would have scuffs or scratches, usually not real severe. But bad enough to where I wouldn't feel comfortable selling it without testing it first. I'm not doing any of that. So what I decided to do was next time we have a garage sale, I'm gonna move it like that, or I could sell it on marketplace. These are like the condition these are in. I really feel like the collector needs to look at the, look at it with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's hard to show that stuff on a. So I'd rather just not. Yeah. So I've been listing. Uh, a little clothing me too i've been listening to a little clothing little you literally, mean little clothing literally little clothing <laughs> um i did a bunch of jackets today got in got into like sweaters yeah just doll clothes that's my life right now yep <laughs> you're you're moving through it pretty quickly i would say though yeah faster than i expected i mean it helps when you have multiples like this whole bag is pretty much this style you know oh yeah so that's gonna be real quick. Listening. So what do you do? Like when you have different sizes, do you just take photos and then hide I the size the, tag? Yeah, I just use the same photo. Yeah. And you don't show the size tag? No. Yeah. Okay. No. I think that's smart. Yeah, like like these hoodies, they sell for like seven, eight bucks, sometimes free ship. I think I'm gonna do two for ten. Like just like two different style hoodies together, you know. Same size for ten dollars. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Or maybe even three, huh? Yeah, if you can I, find them. I think two for ten would do good. I would prefer like if we could get it up to like fourteen, fifteen dollars, that would be better. So ten is just ten is just uh I mean I we could do that. I don't that. know if I have the quantity uh, to make lots of three without duplicates. I got you. Yeah. I, just, I mean I I don't mind selling stuff for ten dollars. But okay, we're gonna have a lot of that in this stuff. That's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not hard to pack though. You you throw. No, them I'm not worried about that. We're gonna throw them in the little zipper bag, probably, and then poly bag them. Well, especially like you said, whenever you're listing stuff like this, you're not having to. It's one, one listing, and then you could just sell similar off yeah. of it or whatever. I mean, the, those um, Arcadia Trail dog coats are really good. They're like twenty-five to thirty dollars. But for the most part, dog clothing is just not expensive. Right. That's just the way it is. Yep. You know, so. Okay. And I kind of knew that going in, which is why we had to get it at that low cost point. You know? Yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to, uh, I think we're going to sign off for now. I need to edit video. Candace is doing some. Cross listing. <laughs> On list perfectly. Link down below if yeah. you want to try it. Cross listing and then. Um, I might just relax for about 30 minutes before I have to go get Molly because I'll be back out here tonight playing in garage sales. Man, I'm hoping we have like a bang up garage sale weekend. I know. We need that. Yes. I mean, I know we have the dog stuff but and everything. we need some good inventory to mix in. We need fast moving, like high value fast moving inventory. Isn't that what everybody wants? Yeah. So? Why would That's you all want, we want. Why would you want that? <laughs> That's all we want. We got dog clothes. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, that is good too, but you know what I mean. I know. <laughs> so, all right, but that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.